Thank you, John. The economy, the war in Iraq, health care, energy policy, there's plenty at stake in the upcoming election. Tonight, we turn our attention to the race in Illinois' 13th congressional district. The district includes west and southwest suburbs, such as Naperville, Downers Grove, and Orland Park, and includes parts of Cook, Will, and DuPage counties. We're joined tonight now by the two candidates from the 13th district. The Republican incumbent, Congresswoman Judy Biggert of Hinsdale. Ms. Biggert has held that seat since 1999. And her Democratic challenger, Scott Harper of Lockport. Mr. Harper spent most of his career as the owner of a media and marketing consulting firm called Closer Look. Now, the seating arrangement tonight was decided by a flip of a coin, and Mr. Harper won and will also receive the first question. But first of all, welcome both to Thank Chicago you. tonight. Nice, nice to have you here tonight. Uh, Mr. Harper, why should the voters in the 13th district choose you over the incumbent? Well, because it's time for a change. We hear that from, President, from Senator Obama, and I think the tr it's also true at the congressional level. Congresswoman Biggert has supported President Bush's failed economic policies. She supported his war in Iraq. I think on both counts, the, d the voters of our district are ready for a change. And I am the, the person that can deliver that change. And we'll get into specifics in just a moment, but Congresswoman uh, Biggert, why should the uh, voters in the 13th district give you a sixth term? Well, I think that uh, I've accomplished a lot in my, my tenure, and I uh, have a lot more to accomplish. And I think that uh, I'm one from the district. I didn't just wake up one morning and decide to run for Congress, but all of, all of my life I've been active in uh, civic and, and uh, uh, charitable causes and moving on to uh, president of the school board on to uh, Illinois General Assembly and into Congress and have been able to uh, do so much for the people in this in this district and I'm one of them and I, I didn't just move into the state uh, to run for Congress nor did I just move in from the uh, out of the country to run for Congress. All right. Well, as you seek this sixth term, and we'll let you respond in just a second, uh, Scott Harper, uh, what is the most press pressing issue in the 13th district? Well, I think the most pressing district, uh, uh, the concern in the district is, is the economy. But before, before I get into that, let me just say I think that the biggest concern, I think, for, for all of these uh, contests is that uh, we in Congress have to work together. We have to work across the aisle, and that's how we're going to solve these problems. So going to the economy, I think that first of all, I've, uh, I serve as the financial institution's uh, chairman and the subcommittee in the financial services, and have been working on the, the uh, problem of uh, the financial crisis, and we need to do it now. Uh, we've had a few weeks to, to uh, look at uh, the proposal by Secretary Paulson and Chairman Bernanke, and I think that, that now we're, we're beyond whether we voted for it or voted against it, which which I have happened to have done both. I started out with And we'll ask about it. that in just a, a moment <laughs> but, also. But I think that uh, uh, I hear from uh, the residents of, of the community, and it, it has not become, it's not just a problem for Wall Street. It's a problem for Main Street, and the constituents are, are seeing the effect that it's having on their lives and their their 401ks, their investments, uh, their, whether they can pay for their kids' college education. Scott Harper, uh, what do you view as the most important issue facing the, the constituents in the 13th district? Well, I agree with the congresswoman that it's the economy by far, and that's why my experience is so critical at this time of economic turmoil. I've been a successful small business owner, and so I've created jobs. I've met payrolls, and I know something about what it takes to have an economy, to have a po set of policies that further business growth and development. We've got a great district. We have Argonne National Labs in the middle of the district. We have the Silicon Prairie. We've got a distribution network along the I-55 corridor. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be the leader in the state and even the country in developing good jobs and green jobs for our future. Now, I, I am a native of Naperville. I grew up in Naperville, went to, went to uh, Naperville Central, taught skiing at Lyle. So I am very familiar with the district and have always thought of it as home. So what was Representative Biggert uh, referring to when she said that she didn't wake up one morning and decided to run for Congress or moved into the area to run for Congress? 
I think it appears to Congresswoman Bigger that that might have been the case for me, but it's not, it's not true. I've been thinking about a, a role in public service at least since my university days. Um, I've been a long time activist in the community, working with poor kids, teaching them how to read. I've, I've been working with the homeless as a mentor, a job coach. Um, so why now? You are 44 years old, is that correct? 47. 47, I'm sorry. You look 44. <laughs> uh, so why have you decided at the age of 47 that you want to run for public office? Well, I felt like this country was on the wrong track. And I felt like Congresswoman's, Congresswoman Bigger's voting record was also getting further and further away from the people of the district. So I felt like when I was approached by local Democrats to see if I would be willing to run, I said, Now's the time. I have to step up. Uh, uh, Judy Bigger, do you believe that your voting record is going against the will of, the, of your constituents? Absolutely not. I wouldn't have been elected for the number of terms that I have. And I, uh, uh, from all of the polls that show that people are with me, I'm out in the district all the time. The, the role of a, of a congresswoman or a congressman really is to represent uh, the, their constituents. And I'm home every weekend or uh, during our district work period and really communicate with them. Our role is to be a listener and to hear what our, our constituents have to say. Let's talk about the big